Hey guys, so um, I have been waiting to do this video uh, for about two months and I have never been able to do it because we've been so busy and I've been waiting on some things and waiting for things to be here, but this is the Nerd Room Tour. Was it 3.0? I don't even know where we're at now. I've done a lot of these. I did like two in my house, then we moved to California and I did one and now we're back in Iowa and this is my uh, I don't know, third or fourth one I've done. Um, basically, we are back. I've moved back um, officially. We were here for a while during the 4th of July, but we didn't have anywhere to stay. So some of my reviews that you see, that's not my house. So that was uh, staying at people's houses that we were just kind of crashing at for a couple weeks while we were getting some stuff organized here. But now we are in our place. Um, and I'm not going to show our whole place, but... Uh, I'm going to show my new nerd room, which I think is my favorite out of all of them. Um, a lot of the stuff that I have shown in the past is here, but a lot of the stuff that there's also a lot of stuff that I, I used to have that I still do, but it's still at my parents' house. Even though I live closer to them now, I don't, uh, I don't, I don't have enough room to keep it all still. I still don't have my final nerd room. Um, when we move back into our house, which we do still own by the way, but if we move back into my house or if we uh, get a new house or whatever we decide to do, um, we're here for about a year. So, um, yeah, but once we do that and decide, maybe I'll start grabbing some more of the stuff that you guys remember from the original nerd room tours. Um, but I do have a few things. So, um, let's just get started, shall we? Okay. So this is the entrance here and we'll just do a nice little turnaround here. Boo. And what we're going to do is we'll just go through all this now. So uh, when you come in, I have this, which you guys have seen, um, which is awesome. Um, and then I have, this is kind of the top of my shelf now, uh, which is some stuff that you've seen before. I've had it set up this way before. I, this is something that I just changed. Down here, this is where you remember me having my comics. Now I put all of, this is all DC this is kind of like my DC collection. It's not everything, but it's a good chunk of it. And then you go down to the next shelf and you have all my Marvel. So this is basically the Marvel Cinematic Universe of movies. Um, and then you hit Deadpool and into the Spider-Verse and stuff. But that's all of those. And then we got like Lord of the Rings, Idiot Jones, Seven Samurai, which I just picked up. Uh, and then Star Wars, which I have the... Uh, prequel trilogy, original trilogy, which I do it in order, but I know that if I were to watch it with someone who'd never seen these, I would totally do this first. But this is the original trilogy, prequel trilogy, um, Rogue One, for uh, Force Awakens, Last Jedi, Rise of Skywalker. These are all the steel books. Uh, and then I have the, the specialized editions, which I think I've showed off, maybe not. But all the despecialized editions, if you don't know what those are, search them on YouTube. They have a nice video on that. Then down below, I've switched over to DBZ. So I have, well, Dragon Ball. So I have Dragon Ball, the complete manga of the original Dragon Ball in the Viz Big. And then I have my complete series, which I've done a video on comp comparing that to um, the bootlegs. And then I have all of Super. These are actually bootlegs <laughs> these are actually not the real prints i got these in a lot for like 60 50 bucks the complete series all together and these are not the original prints and i knew they would be but these actually compared to um the dbz collection on blu-ray these are actually pretty good quality i think these actually are good to go i have the three movies of uh, battle of the gods resurrection f and uh, broly I have uh, first three seasons of Robot Chicken and the DC Comics special, which I thought was just kind of fun to have. So that's the new shelf. So you're going to want to know, like, where's my comics? Well, you'll see them in a second here. But we'll move on to the TV. Um, hello. Um, and I've been playing Avengers. This is my new uh, entertainment stand. My other one I threw out when we moved back because we were running out of room. Uh, we're running out of, like truck space and my it was already kind of wrecked i drilled holes in it and stuff to vent it better and things so i was like you know i'm just gonna get a new one when we move so this is uh, i got it on a deal they don't even sell it anymore i got it from target and uh the reason that i uh got it i got it for a discount 
because it was already built. It was kind of the display one, but it, it works great. As you can see, I have some more comics. Hello. Um, or comics. I have some more um, consoles. So I have my PS4 Pro Spider-Man Edition. I have my Switch. I have my Xbox One. I got the PS3 back. My RetroPie. My Amiibos are in the back there. And then I have my Wii U. And then as you can see, like... Over here I have uh, my controllers and charging cables, and I think it just looks kind of clean and nice. It's still a little cluttered for my taste, but I'm, I'm working on that. Um, I have a splitter now. That's what this is. Um, so I can split it all up between HDMI ports, so that's awesome. Um, yeah, so uh, I really enjoy this. It looks really nice, I think. Above it, oh, let's go up here. I finally hung up some posters, so these are all posters I got for like pre-ordering tickets on Fandango for these movies. So I got Thor Ragnarok, Ready Player One, and Avengers Infinity War. I love that Infinity War one. I have like three or four more of these kind of posters for movies, but these were just ones that I thought would be kind of cool to put up. I just needed some space because there's this outlet here for if you like mount a TV. And so I was like, I need to put something kind of around that. So it looks kind of nice, I think. And then I have... Um, my Kevin Conroy autographed. I finally hung that up instead of put it up. So, uh, yeah. So that's kind of this section here. I really like it. Uh, over here I just have another thing up, but that's about it. And then, here we go, off to the right. This is the thing I've been waiting on the most. This is my new bookshelf. Um, so I have my Fallout poster, a propaganda poster, and then... I put my Optimus and some stuff up here up top. I put a Black Panther poster up. That's another one that I got from uh, Fandango. And then as you go down, this is a much bigger, and this is where you're going to see my collection has increased exponentially. Um, let's get a little bit closer. So this is my top shelf. It's almost all Batman. Um... Now, I'll tell you, a lot of this stuff I picked up out of a... I have a new addiction. Like, I really just... I, I've been just picking up books almost on a daily basis now or ordering them on a, on a daily basis. I have a little bit more income, and so I can just kind of pick up this stuff whenever. Some of the stuff you've seen before, some new uh, pulls are Arkham Asylum, Death in the Family, um, Robin Reborn. These are all new ones that I just picked up recently. I know Lonely Place of Dying is actually in this, but I have the old, like, collected version of it. But I just needed some... Now that the shelf is so big, I can fit everything and it. I need actually space to kind of just keep it packed in. Um, so I've brought some back, like No Man's Land I didn't have displayed for the longest time, and that's back. Um, I got Under the Red Hood, that's a new one. But you can just kind of look through some of these. I have all of Grant Morrison's run, which starts here and ends with Batman Incorporated Volume 2. I have all of Scott Snyder's run, which is all these hardbounds, which starts with Quarter Owls and ends with... Uh, well, technically Last Night on Earth, but Epilogue is really the main part of his run, and then he did all these other things. Now, some of these here, um, these these Batman, um, well, All-Star, and then Nightwing, and then this Detective Comics, I got all those free when I worked at um, Warner Brothers. Uh, they basically had, in the mail room, you could go into, on the lot, you could go in the mail room, and they had just stuff that they would get in from the different departments, and they say, free, please take some. And so um, they would have stacks. I mean, like these here. I have pictures of stacks that go up like six feet of just these trades. Now, the thing about them was they're kind of random. So, like, as you can see, I have, like, volume two of All-Star and three of All-Star. And then to go four, five, six of Nightwing because they didn't have one, two, three. Um, but it's just, you know, I picked them up because I was interested and they're cool. And, you know, I have them. So then on the next part of the shelf, this is where I keep my omnibus, my fourth world omnibus, this big boy here. Superman Smashes the Clan, which is what I just reviewed. This is another one that I got free from Warner Brothers, the Superman Golden Age omnibus. It's like the first however many issues from the 30s by Jerry Siegel and Joe Schuster. Um, I got this from a guy that was uh, working in a, uh, the department he was kind of the liaison between DC and Warner Brothers. And my girlfriend worked right across the hall from him. And she was asking him about another thing that I liked. And he said, she said, 
he said, does uh, he like Superman? And she said, yeah. And this was in Saran Wrap, and he said, well, give him this. Just He can just have it. <laughs> and uh, it's like $100, so uh, this is actually really cool. I got it for free and stuff, but it's really, it's a nice omnibus. It's super classy. It has, like I said, it has the first, um, I don't know, however many issues on it. Let's just pull it out just real quick, just so you can get a look at that. It's the new printing, so it has all these on it. Um, but it's a really nice book. It was really nice of him. Um, he was a great, great guy to work with. I, I met him a couple times. He also gave me my Joker poster. He's the same guy, uh, and she was actually asking about that. And he gave her that, and then he was like, just let him have this. He had a Wonder Woman one, too. I just, I didn't want to be greedy. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Uh, next uh, shelf, we have Superman. So uh, this is another free one here. Um, and then I brought back some from... The good old days when I had a smaller collection. These three volumes here that are Rebirth, or these, yeah, these three here, they uh, are, were also free. I picked up Martian Manhunter, which I've been wanting to read. Some of these I haven't even gotten to yet because I bought so many. Planetary Volume 2, that's another free one, and then all these here, Dead Man, The Losers, some of those. Uh, so yeah, got that. And then you come down here, and this is where we kind of have extra room because... I, I don't have as much Marvel. I'm working on that now. But uh, this is my Marvel collection. Lots of Daredevil, lots of Spider-Man. I've been on a Hulk kick. So I have... I've been reading this uh, Immortal Hulk, um, which is great. And then I also have uh, on my couch... Uh, I'm, I'm in the middle of reading, rereading Peter David's Hulk. So I do have the first volume of that. And I have, I think two volumes of Peter David's Hulk still coming in the mail. <laughs> So, and then Planet Hulk is coming in the mail as well. Then I just have some books. I have a contract with God uh, I got from a friend, a dear friend, which is great. Um, but I have a couple things here down below. This is where my, like, kind of recent... I redid my pull list, so I have a pull list from my old comic book store again. And so these are my recent pulls. I don't have much yet, but I just kind of stack them here under Harry Potter collection. And I just have a few more books. Yeah, I have two, uh, two versions of Ready Player One because I accidentally bought it again uh very stark difference from uh california um beautiful beautiful place here love it kind of in the middle of nowhere um but you go five minutes in any direction and you'll run into the main part of the city so we li um we lived in the city we lived in la and i know there's a lot of stuff going on there right now with fires and earthquakes and covid and all that stuff and we were leaving kind of in the midst of all that and uh it was always loud we lived in a, 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 a you know we liked our apartment but there was always something going on there was always somebody making noise and and we had a train that came right through and we could hear it so we we decided you know when we move back let's kind of find a quiet space and uh we found just the very edge of town and so uh nice and peaceful uh, very happy about that. Uh, here's my desk. A little different from the last time I've shown it off. Um, got a new keyboard. Got a, my monitor and speakers are the same, but I got a new PC. So this is my PC here. Um, I picked this up right when we moved back. I ordered one. Uh, it is a pre-built. I don't use it for a lot of gaming. I don't use it for a lot of anything. It, it really just gets the job done for... When I start streaming again, which I know I'm behind on, but when I do start streaming again, this will help help a lot, and um, it, it's power more powerful than the one I had. The one that I had kind of I had to repair. You know, I, I made a video on it, but I had to kind of build, rebuild it, and it lasted a couple more years than it should have, and then it finally just got a little too old for to be able to do what I needed it to. So, um, this is a Best Buy pre-built, which a lot of people give crap for, but it is I love it, and it actually does exactly what I need. Um, I put an extra stick of uh, RAM in it, but besides that, um, it it's pretty good. I'm pretty happy, pretty happy with it. So I got that PC, and then this is my shelf that I've had forever, with I where I put all kinds of like fun stuff on. It's a little bit smaller now. Um, I, I or not smaller, but I don't have as much on it because I have more shelves. But kind of same old, same old. This is set up almost exactly the same. Um, and then down here, I put my PS4 games. So all my PS4 games are here now because I got rid of my um, my old 
entertainment stand, which had doors in it that I could put games in, and now I can't. So this, they, they all go here. Down below I have uh, my Switch. I have a couple Wii, Wii U. I have uh, PS3 games again, so those are there. Um, Xbox One. And then down below I have random, random, random stuff. Uh, Little People Big World. If you don't even know what that is, <laughs> I'm kind of embarrassed to say I have two seasons of it. Uh, I found them for like a dollar a piece at a old hobby store. And I remember as a kid, my sister watching that show and I was so like not into it like legitimately, but I just, it was such a weird scenario. And I just, it was, <laughs> it's kind of hard to explain that I have, why I have those, but you know, uh, Transformers, Jackass, uh, down there. I have a volume of Berserk that's just kind of chilling down here because I don't have a place for it yet and nothing else really. Um, here, I still have my ticket to Conan. <laughs> Uh, I have my Dragon's Lair poster. Right now I have Wonder Woman in, but I could switch it out still uh, like I did earlier. I don't have any extra posters, though. Um, here is my workstation. So I'm working from home. So I, I have this is not permanent. That's why it's a card table and it's in front of my closet. And it's the only thing that kind of sucks about it is just the fact that it's in the way of my closet. But my closet isn't that exciting. Um, I have an extra keyboard because it came with the computer. My box... My old computer's down there. These are wires for my retro consoles, which are in here. So I remember we kind of discussed that when I was in California. I didn't bring these. So in here I have a PS1, PS2, PS2 Fat, NES, SNES, GameCube, uh, Wii, a few other things. So these are my retro consoles. I just don't have a place for all of them on my, uh, my entertainment stand. Switch cases, Pip Boy. Um, my I also brought these back. My NES and SNES Classic. They just kind of sit in here though, because I don't really use them. Because I have my Retro Pie. Couple board games. Uh, down here I have my banjo. Uh, that's a box full of PS3, 360, PS1 games, random gaming stuff. Some manga. My camera. So some of this is still kind of a mess in here because I can't really use it right now. In here is a, a SNES that I'm trying to fix for a friend. But yeah, this is kind of a mess. It's kind of the catch-all right now just because I I don't have a lot of uh, uh, use to get in here right now because of my, my work situation. This is all just for when I clean because I'm starting to repair consoles. Um, I'm, I'm taking other people's consoles and I'm bringing them here and taking them apart. I have all the stuff for it, so I clean them or I repair them if I can. But yeah, um, this here, this is a pillowcase from when I was a kid. I kind of use it as kind of like a throw now or kind of like a, just like a cover. But uh, it's a Batman Amy series pillowcase. And I've had it since I was like five. <laughs> um, my couch, there's the Hulk I'm reading. That's Peter David's Hulk. My iPad. But yeah, um, it's pretty comfortable. Hello. Um, I'm really enjoying the uh, the space. Um, so everything is pretty much the same as you guys remember. There's just, I have doubled my comic book collection. Like, seriously. Like, everything used to be able to fit there. And now it fills up two, sh two and a half shelves of this one. So um, it's kind of crazy. It's, it is. Um, I'm in the midst of playing Avengers right now, as you can see over here on the... Uh, on the stand um don't have a whole lot of thoughts about it <laughs> um but yeah so yeah this is kind of my room and it's gorgeous out it's like 60 60 degrees 65 degrees out sun's out um beautiful beautiful quiet peaceful uh space to be in and i'm just really happy to uh to be here it feels really good i feel comfortable peaceful, relaxed. It's a great office for my workspace. I can roll between here and my personal computer if I need to. Um, it's great. Um, so I turn around here. That's, that's kind of what's been going on. Um, as you can see, I'm growing my hair out because COVID, I haven't really gone, got my hair cut or anything, but, um, I'm having a really good time, uh, here and I'm really happy to be back home and with family and friends and as much as COVID's going on I'm not really seeing too many people 
uh, I know this place and this place feels safer for me right now. And there just wasn't a lot going on in California that made us feel like we needed to stay there. Um, we were really, um, cause of COVID we lost our jobs. And then after that, we were just kind of hanging out in a really expensive kind of dingy apartment where our dogs were uncomfortable. We were uncomfortable and we just kind of decided, you know what, maybe it's a good time to come home because everything that we wanted to do there, we can now do remotely, <laughs> uh, to be honest with you. I mean, it's California is not in any condition to have us go and audition for things there or anything. So, um, yeah, that's kind of what's going on. So I just wanted to give you guys an update. I know I've done a lot of update videos, so this is a nerd room tour. Um, I'm going to do a video here short, uh, not not now, so I know that like I'm always like, I'm going to do these videos, and then they never come out, but one that I am really looking to do, and especially since I'm so into it right now, I'm on kind of this big kick, is I'm going to do a bunch of parts of uh, like a, like episodic episodes of my comic book collection. Not my, not my boxes. My boxes are still at my parents' house, but these, where I'm going to like each episode, I'll go through a shelf and kind of discuss what I have and, and what they're about and everything. I think that'd be kind of fun. Um, so that's kind of my next goal when it comes to, when it comes to live streaming, I think I could set it up now. Um, and I know that I've discussed this a couple times in update videos, but I I'm kind of waiting on the live streaming a little bit because we were, we're still getting our ducks in a row here. And, uh, when I got my new computer, uh, not all of my Streamlabs uh, setup was saved. So a lot of my templates and a lot of my things like that, I have to completely redo. And it takes like a whole day for me to get it the way I want it. And so I just haven't had a whole day to just sit at the computer, especially when I'm, you know, at the computer for work and stuff to get all my streaming set up. Um, so that is something that I'm looking to do. But it just, it's going to take a little bit of time, I think. So unless people start asking me, like, why aren't you streaming? When are you going to stream more? Like, you know, if you really want me to, tweet at me or leave a comment in this video if you, like, have just been, like, dying to see me stream. But I haven't, I haven't really, I've, I've been really wanting to focus more on videos. And um, I know I haven't done a lot of those either. So maybe that's kind of why I wanted to do this. And I want to do kind of a breakdown of all my comics. And I have a couple other things that I'm really looking to get done. So... Um, hopefully that will work for the time being. Um, you know, I was just thinking what's kind of fun is this poster behind me, this Wonder Woman poster. It says July 2020. That's going to maybe be a collector's item sometime at some point because it's coming out like Christmas now. <laughs> like it's not even, uh, it's not even out and it was supposed to come out in July. So the original date. Um, but yeah, so I appreciate you guys watching this video. I hope you enjoyed kind of seeing my nerd room. Uh, it's been, I, I've been trying to record it like three or four different times. I haven't really started recording it, but like, I've been like, I should do that. And then I don't because I was really waiting on that comic book shelf. Um, and I just got it two nights ago. So, um, it's been a lot of like organizing. And then I was like, I have my workstation here. Maybe I should wait until I start working in the office again. But uh, from what I'm hearing, we're probably going to be working uh, from home for the next, uh, you know, until at least the beginning of next year. So um, I didn't want to wait that long. Um, so just imagine when you look at this whole space, imagine that gone. And that's kind of my idea for the room. Um, but yeah, we're super happy, comfortable, um, less uh, stressed, busy, things like that. We're just kind of now trying to be peaceful. <laughs> and uh, that's kind of what's going on. So I hope everyone's staying safe. If you have any recommendations, anything you want to see me review like right now, leave them down below. Um, I have, like I said, I have some ideas of what I want to do. Uh, I have some things that I, I really think would be fun. But um, if if there's something that you saw in this nerd room that you want to get a closer look at, or if like there's something that came out, a game, a movie, a comic that like you want me to talk about, leave it down below and I can discuss it first and that'll kind of become my biggest priority. But for right now, I'm kind of just picking what I think would be interesting. So um, I hope you guys are okay with that. So until next time, guys, I know this is a long video. Uh, I will see you uh, in the next one.